Hey, what is going on guys? RVZ Stealth here, and in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the new strong and weak picks heading into patch 8.7. So first up here, we have some buffs to Elise, and honestly, these are just placebo buffs for the most part because I really don't think these will affect Elise for next patch. Her Q, the damage, is getting increased by 10 at all ranks in spider form, and then her Cocoon, the cooldown, is getting lowered only in the earlier ranks though, but in the earlier ranks, the cooldown on your Cocoon doesn't really matter too much. Where it will matter most is in the mid to late game when you're team fighting, and because that didn't get lowered at all, I just don't really think these buffs are going to do much for Elise in next patch. So next up are some buffs to Gragas, another AP jungler is getting buffed in next patch. His Q's AP ratio, his W's AP ratio are both getting increased, and then his W's damage reduction is now going to be increased by an additional 4% for every 100 ability power. So if you are playing AP Gragas, or if you do go for Runic Echoes on Gragas, then these buffs will come into effect, and you probably will notice them a little bit. But most people, they don't play AP Gragas, he's generally played as a tank jungler, so I don't think these changes will affect him too much. If anything, this will now allow you to go like runic echoes on Gragas in the early game, and it will make his early game a little bit stronger. So next up, we do have more of a significant change here, and this one is to Lux. So Lux's ultimate, the refund on a kill is being increased in the earlier ranks, and then you no longer have to actually get the killing blow with your ultimate to trigger the refund. If the enemy champion ends up dying within 1.75 seconds of being hit by your ultimate, then you will get the refund. So this is just gonna make Lux even stronger in the early game. It's gonna allow her to just constantly look for picks because as your ultimate is going to be on a much shorter cooldown and I really think that Lux is actually pretty sleeper OP in this meta because we are seeing a lot of these tier champions being played, these shorter range mages in the Cassio, the Rise, the Anivia and because Lux is longer range and she does have that pick with her bind she is a pretty good pick into a lot of these mages that are being played right now so if you are a Lux player then you should definitely be looking to pick her back up in next patch. So Malphite is getting some decent changes for next patch. His E's AP ratio is being increased by 40%, which is actually pretty significant. Most people don't build AP Malphite though, but with this buff here, maybe some people will start going for like one AP item on Malphite because his ultimate's AP ratio, I'm pretty sure it's 100%, so he actually does have some pretty good AP ratios on his abilities. It just does kind of depend on the matchup and what your team comp is, I think as to whether or not you would want to go for an AP item. His ultimate's cooldown is also being lowered in the later ranks, so overall not super big changes to Malphite here, but if you are a Malphite player, then you definitely can't complain with these changes. So Olaf's ultimate is getting nerfed. The bonus movement speed you get when running towards an opponent is getting lowered in the earlier ranks. So I don't think this one will really make Olaf much weaker. I'm only giving this one a one rating here because you're gonna go predator on Olaf anyways in the early game. If you end up reaching your opponent with the predator and you hit the Q on them, then the bonus movement speed you're getting from your ultimate is pretty negligible. Once you get onto your opponent, then they're usually not gonna be able to get away so honestly I really don't think this change is going to affect Olaf very much. So next up, we do have another nerf to a jungler, this one to Sejuani. Her HP growth is being lowered and her E stun duration is also being decreased. So this HP growth change here, it could mean more than what you think because if this ends up changing the time in the game to where you would get the regen from your warmogs, then this could actually make Sejuani significantly weaker for next patch. Overall though, these changes don't look too bad for Sej and she, sh she should still be a pretty solid tank jungler for 8.7. So next up, we do have a nerf to Shaco. Shaco right now is performing the best for any jungler in the game, so it's not really too much of a surprise that he is getting nerfed for 8.7. His Q's bonus 80 ratio is getting lowered there. I am only giving this one a 1 rating though, because this really shouldn't change Shaco in next patch. He's still going to be able to snowball the early game very well, because the thing that's getting changed is the bonus 80 ratio, and that's not going to affect his damage in the early game, so he's still going to be able to snowball very well and he's still going to be a great pick for next patch. 
So next up here, we do have some much needed nerfs for Swain. His Q's damage is being lowered by 10 at all ranks, and then his Q's cooldown is also being increased in the earlier ranks. This will definitely affect Swain a lot in melee matchups in the top lane because it's gonna make his ability to harass in the early game a lot weaker. I think for mid lane Swain, this change shouldn't affect him as much because especially if you're in like a range matchup and you're not really gonna be harassing as much with your Q in the early game, then this change shouldn't affect him too much there. But especially in melee matchups, like in the top lane, you're just not going to be able to be as strong of a lane bully for 8.7. So next up here, we do have some buffs to Rumble. He is getting a pretty decent buff here to the damage to his Q, and then his Q's damage to minions is being changed. It's getting decreased a bit in the earlier ranks and increased in the later ranks. Now, the reason to why I'm only giving this one a one out of five here is because I think that in comparison to the other strong top tier top laners, this change really shouldn't make Rumble that much better. Obviously, in some matchups to where he will be able to bully, this change will be pretty nice, but right now Rumble is sitting like at the bottom of the top lane win rates. He isn't performing very well, so I really don't think that this change should make him that much better for 8.7. So next up here, we do have some decent buffs to Zed. His Q's pass-through damage AD ratio is being increased, and then the base damage is also being increased. So this will definitely allow Zed to just get more damage off with his Q in the laning phase. He's not gonna have to worry as much about not hitting minions with his Q. If he does end up having to hit a minion to get poke off with his Q, then it is gonna deal more damage in next patch. So I think that with the buffs that Zed got as well in last patch, combined with these buffs, it should put Zed into a pretty good spot for 8.7. So Rageblade is getting some much needed nerfs for next patch. They ended up changing it to where they wanted it to be more of a scaling item to where you would pick it up in the mid to late game, but they didn't really achieve that at all because it actually ended up performing better on champions like Varus and Kog'Maw in the early game. So it's getting nerfed here. The cost is being increased from 3,000 up to 3,300. Now, because the stats aren't getting changed at all though on the item, I really really don't think this change should affect those champions too much in next patch. It will make them a little bit weaker, but they still should be pretty strong picks with the Rageblade item. So a lot of the changes coming up here are looking to be nerfs to tank champions heading into 8.7. We do have some changes to lock it to where the shield is being decreased, the cooldown is also being increased, so these are definitely indirect nerfs to tank champions, especially supports that do like to go lock it as their second item. So next up are some changes to Ninja Tabis. What they're doing is they're decreasing the armor from 30 down to 20, but they're increasing the basic attack block value from 10% up to 12%. And if I am understanding this correctly, this will actually make Ninja Tabis stronger in like the mid to late game once the enemy champions end up getting like a lot of AD because I'm pretty sure that that extra increase there in basic attack block value will outweigh the 10 and armor once you do end up reaching like a lot of AD and once you reach the mid to late game. So this should make Tabby's a little bit weaker as like a rush item in the early game, but it should make it stronger in the late game. So another nerf to tank supports in next patch, we have a change to Relic as well as to Targon and Remnant to where the amount of gold you generate from these items passively is being lowered. I'm really not too sure as to why they're targeting tank supports in this patch because I feel like right now the strongest supports are the Enchanter supports like the Janna and the Lulu. So I'm really confused as to why those supports aren't being hit and to why they are hitting these tank supports for 8.7. And the final nurse to tank champions for next patch is to the resolve tree. So what they're doing is you're going to be getting less health now in the early game from the resolve tree. But as you reach the mid to late game, the amount of health you get from taking it is going to be increased. So this is definitely going to decrease the ability for these tankier champions to survive in the early game now. And it's just going to indirectly make like these supports in the bot lane, like the Lulu, the Janna, the Soraka, all these like enchanter supports. I think they're going to be much stronger in next patch and in the top lane as well, these tank champions that are taking resolve right now should be a lot more exploitable in the early game. 
And then for some rune changes for next patch, there is a buff to approach velocity. So the move speed increase is being increased from 10% up to 15%. Now I think that on certain champions, this could actually be taken now in 8.7. On someone like Ash, for example, to where whenever you auto attack with Ash, you're gonna be gaining that 15% bonus movement speed, which is actually pretty significant. So on Ash, I think this could be a pretty viable option now on someone like Olaf as well to where you're going to be getting a lot of slows off. You could also take this and Nivea is another one that this could be good on. So there's a lot of different champions to where this could be a nice niche rune on, but for most champions, this shouldn't affect them too much at all. So Presence of Mind is going to change in next patch, and I think that overall this will end up being a nerf to the rune. What they're doing is on takedowns, you're now going to restore 20% of your max mana and refund your ultimate's cooldown by 10%. Now this is overall a nerf compared to the old Presence of Mind because when you would get level ups, you would also end up getting like infinite mana. You could use as much mana as you wanted for 7 seconds, and that's not going to be available now with this new rune here. So this is going to affect champions, especially like Cassiopeia, who would like to get that level up and then just look for an all-in in the early game. It's also going to affect Cassidin because he's not going to be able to just infinitely spam his ultimate now when he does end up getting uh, when he does end up getting the presence of mind proc because 20% of your maximum mana is not as good as being able to have infinite mana for seven seconds. So next up, Legend Tenacity is getting buffed in next patch. The amount of tenacity you get per stack is being increased by 1%. So overall, I think that this should not change which champions are taking this rune in next patch, but champions that did end up taking it in previous patches and champions that did end up getting kited a little bit easier are gonna like these changes for 8.7. So Cut Down is getting a buff in next patch. The max damage is being increased from 10% up to 12%. So when you do reach the mid to late game now, you will be able to deal a little bit more damage against tank champions. I think that right now, a lot of pro players are actually running Cut Down if the enemy team comp does have like two or three tanky champions. So overall in next patch, this is gonna allow you to deal more damage against tanks and it might be the go-to option now instead of taking coup de gras. So mana flow band is also getting changed in next patch and like the change to presence of mind I think this is just gonna make the rune a lot weaker so what they're doing is they're changing it to where if you hit an ability on a champion it's gonna increase your maximum mana by 25 and this can increase up to 250 maximum mana and then once you do reach 250 mana it's gonna restore 1% of your missing mana every 5 seconds so this is no longer gonna help you out in the early game. This is not gonna allow you to sustain mana during the laning phase, so I just really don't think this is gonna be a great rune now on most champions. The reason to why you would take this mana flow band is to be able to sustain your mana in the early game, and because you can no longer do that with this, I just really don't think it's gonna be a great option anymore. And then lastly here, we do have a pretty interesting change to minions. So what they're doing is cannon minions are now going to give more gold and they're also going to be tankier, but caster and melee minions are now going to give less gold. So this means that it's going to be even more important to get that last hit on a cannon minion for 8.7. So if you are someone who does have a harder time last hitting cannons and you do end up missing a lot of them, then it is going to be even more significant now in 8.7. So that is going to be all for this video guys. If you did enjoy then be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you have yet to already. So thanks for watching, have an awesome day, and I will see you in my next video.